Welcome to Afra's Artifacts, where we do some archaeology of our own and dig into the queer side of Star Wars. I'm your host, Alia Morgane, and it's so great to have you here. Well, in this video, we're moving on to part two of this week's topic. We're going to be talking about Flix and Orca as the first on-screen Star Wars gay couple. Now, there are actually only two Star Wars on-screen gay couples, but... And one of them is not all that fleshed out from Rise of Skywalker, which will get its own video. But Flix and Orca are a wonderfully fabulous um, Star Wars gay couple that is on screen confirmed both in the show and by producers. So anyway, Flix and Orca, as I've said in the previous video, run the Office of Acquisitions on the Colossus on Castellon. And in Season 1, Episode 13, Dangerous Business, they go off to visit Flix's mother on Talavar for a day. And that got me thinking that, wait a second, I think they are totally a couple. They come back from their trip and they fall into this really comfortable old married couple gag. And that is when it hit me. And I was like, oh my God, they're a couple. They're together. And then in season one, episode 20, No Escape Part 1, the... First Order has taken over the Colossus and everyone's trying to figure out a way to get out, to escape, to deal with the situation because things are bad. And Flix, Orca, their pet Gorg Bitey, and their pet droid GLN are all hiding away from the First Order in a box in the acquisition shop with a shipping label on it, intending them to be shipped off to Flix's mothers. So I love this. If Flix has a great relationship with his mother, that Orca is apparently liked by his mother as well. So they have this great family um, interaction with the Flix's mother and Orca's, I'm going to say, mother-in-law. Um, so that is wonderful. Then on September 30th, 2019, on the Coffee with Kenobi podcast, producers Brandon Alman and Justin Ridge confirmed in the interview that Flix and Orca were in fact a gay couple. So Justin Ridge says... I think it's safe to say they're an item. Absolutely. They're absolutely a gay couple. And we're proud of that. We love Flix and Orca. Ah! When I saw that, that come out, that information come out, I was over the freaking moon. I was like, oh my God, these two lovely characters are a couple, an actual gay couple in Star Wars visual media. Um, so that was wonderful. <laughs> and then it gets confirmed in the show. Season 2, Episode 6, From Beneath, in November 2019. So, it's not just the producers trying to satiate queer people by simply saying they're gay in an interview. Lando's pansexuality. Um, which will get its own video, in fact. Um, so, instead, we get confirmed Space Married Awesomeness in the show itself. So. In this episode, they're on Dragor 3, and there's mining going on by Flix's family, and he has a whole bunch of cousins around that are running the fuel refinery, and um, the, so Flix and Orca and Tora and Kaz have come to Dragor 3, and they've all gone down into the depths um, of the mining area, and their transport gets broken and it falls and Orca and Tora um, are able to escape the situation and they're climbing this vertical ladder that goes on for meters and meters and meters and they're trying to get out and Orca's getting tired and he's like, oh God, I can't go on. And then Tora's like, what about Flix? Flix is so important to you. You know you need to do this for Flix. And Orca then says, I love that guy. And that gives him renewed vigor to continue upward. And he powers on and gets up to the top of the ladder. And then is confronted by Flix's cousins. So he gives a big speech to Flix's cousins. Saying to them that Fl Flix deserves fuel. That they are still family. And that the problem is... The Colossus 
is running from the First Order at this point, no longer on Castellan. It's running out of fuel, so they need the fuel. And Orca's just like, Flix is family. He deserves this fuel. It's his fuel, too. And then he walks off with Tora back to the shuttle so they can take it down to rescue Flix, Flix's cousin Flanks, and Kaz. And after Orca leaves the cousins, one of the cousins says, I can see why Flix likes that guy. He takes charge. And then another one says, yeah, good find. Good find. Ha! Oh my God. It's not even being gay that alienated Flix from his family. They're accepting and loving toward him, regardless of his choice and partner. That has nothing to do with it. It had to do with Flix not taking to the whole mining fuel refinery lifestyle. Um, but, oh, I love this confirmation um, that the cousins are saying Flix likes that guy. And the other one says good find, which could only indicate a relationship. And, oh, I love it so much. And then, and overall, to sum up, um, they're an old married couple, essentially. And so there's no progression or development of their relationship like there was with the failed relationships of Dr. Afra and Sonastaros and Dr. Afra and Magna Tolvin, but that's good too. I greatly appreciate this. Provides a happy ending of a relationship that actually works. So we queer people need some of those too. We don't just need the complicated, raw, tumultuous stuff but a couple that loves each other to the end, despite their individual quirks and eccentricities. We need to know that queer relationships can work out too. Um, that this space married gay couple is happy and loves each other. And I think that is truly wonderful. So I'd love to know what you think about Flix and Orca in the comments below. Please comment. Um, I'd love to start a discussion about these characters. They make me so happy. Um, so also remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel, follow me on Twitter at Alia Morgan, and peruse my blog at thestarwarsreview.blogspot.com. New content will be released next Sunday at 6 p.m. Central. May the Force be with you.